All right, we're here with Jake Nile, Chief Footy Reporter of The Age, for another season preview. We'll start with the Hawks, Jake. Uh, a couple of wins for the Hawks this year, maybe to get excited about. Yeah, uh, Denver Granger Barras is um, an exceptional young talent, and a lot of recruiters around the comp rated him one or two in the draft. So I think the Hawks have got a really good one there. Uh, and they've got, a, they've got a couple of other kids. I mean, you go back to Day last year. He was, he's a very good player. So they're starting to get a group together. Um, young Mitchell they've also brought in. So, so there's, there's a young group taking form, but they're starting a long way back compared to some other clubs who've got a lot of young talent in the years before that. And there are a lot of outs as well, likes of Isaac Smith, James Frawley, Ben Stratton, a lot of experience has left the club. Yeah, enormous amount. And, and really, they postponed the rebuild for a long time, but it's now arrived. And it's arrived at a very interesting time with Alistair Clarkson's future very much on the agenda in the next uh, year. Well, yeah, as you mentioned, Alistair Clarkson going to be a big talking point this year, a lot, along with a lot of off-field issues. How do you see all those things playing out? Well, I've got the Jonathan Patton distraction. Uh, I think that's, uh, that, that's not been ideal, clearly, for the club or for Jonathan. Uh, that will play itself out. I don't think we'll see him playing for quite a while. He has got a contract, however, though, which does is the Players Association in particular, and his management will stick firm to that. But I wouldn't be banking on seeing him play anytime soon. Uh, that'll play itself out. Uh, I don't think that'll... I think Mitch Lewis probably had to play ahead of him in any case, so, so that diffuses that a little bit. And in some ways, it's a questionable decision by Hawthorne to bring in Jonathan Patton. I think that that was for their needs. I'm not sure they needed him. Uh, I would say that the Alistair Clarkson, Jeff Kennett show will be, a, uh, will be a big story this year, and particularly because Clarkson has two years to run. Jeff Kennett has already said, remarkably, although we should expect these things from Jeff... He's already said that he thinks this will be Clarkson's last contract. So he has this year in 2022. I believe, however, that if Clarkson gets a job offer from another club and is interested in going to another club, I do not think there's any chance that Hawthorne will stand in his way. I think they would let him go. And, of course, they potentially have Sam Mitchell waiting in the wings as a natural successor, although I don't think anything in that department is guaranteed. It's not a buckley Malthouse situation. It is much more he has to prove himself in order to win that position. Or he could, of course, could go and coach somewhere else. But I think Clarkson will get job offers, and I think that situation will be tested in the next... I wouldn't be certain that he would be at the club in 2022. And what about the decision to put Ben McAvoy as captain? Do you see that as a stopgap until someone like James Sicily returns, or is he in the role for a couple of years? I think he's in the role for a couple of years, but probably no more than two. I see his captaincy as a good decision by, uh, by the club, and I think that you've got to compare it to Richie Vandenberg, who's now on the club board. and He came in... Before Hawthorne won that premiership, he was pretty much done by the end of 2007. Um, but he set the club up very well in terms of their culture, working with the young players. They got a very talented young group in with Franklin, of course, and Jordan Lewis and Roughhead and these players, as well as Hodge and Mitchell, who, when Mitchell was ready to take over the reins and then later Hodge, they, they, they had Vandenberg to help ease them in. I think that's what Hawthorne will be hoping to do with Ben McAvoy. Well, we just spoke before about some of the veterans that left the club in the off-season. Is there a lot of pressure on the likes of, you know, Jaeger, O'Meara, Tom Mitchell and Chad Wingard to really step up and lead the way this year? Huge pressure on all those players. And I think, you know, Mitchell's got a big challenge to come back from that broken leg. It was a, a terrible injury. Um, he's not a, a, a great outside player. He's a, he's a brilliant inside player. Um, run, maybe, he doesn't depend on, but, but he's got a, a challenge to get back to the level he was at. Uh, Jaeger, O'Meara really should be their best player if you look at the talent, but he's, he's going to be a guy that's going to take, like Mitchell, going to take careful management over the course of his career, I think, with, with his knee problems. Uh, then you look at uh, Chad Wingard. I think if there's a player on the list that could lift Hawthorne the most, it's probably him because in his time at, since he came from Port Adelaide, he has not played consistently and they have not got out of him what they wanted, which is when they got him, let's not forget, um, Alistair Clarkson was thinking he could be Cyril Rioli in their, in their side. All right, Jake, we'll move on to the predictions now. Which Hawthorne player do you see as the big improver this year? Well, I, I've got a feeling that it will it will be. Um, I, I, th I think I think Chad Wingard will show something. I, I think I think he'll. I think they'll find. I've got faith in the Hawthorne system that they'll get him going to a level that they haven't got him going consistently before, and that's absolutely critical for for them. Uh, is there a particular player you see the pressure being on this year? Yeah, I think it's Jager O'Meara because if you if you look at what what they gave up to get him, his talent, uh, and his performances have been good, but not not at what, compared to what 
they've invested in him. So the return on investment, also in a leadership sense, I mean, really, there's no reason why he couldn't captain the club and he has to start acting like someone who's the captain in waiting under Ben McAvoy. So it's not simply what he does as a player, but the leadership he can provide with a, with a group that's going to get younger and that's, they're not going to win that many games this year. And just finally, where do you see the Hawks finishing in 2021? Bottom four. I, I think they'll be in the, in, the bottom, in the bottom four. I just don't see enough talent in the group. And despite the fact that they're going to have a much better draw, this is something that Hawthorne fans would note. They got a very bad run with being based in Adelaide in COVID and they got a terrible fixture. They'll, they'll do better in that front, but I don't see... I think the, the players going out still outweigh the gains they'll get from maybe a better environment.